and welcome to a review of a very special thing, or what you might define special if you were a gamer in the 90s, and I certainly wasn't. In fact, I wasn't born until the later part of the 90s. So, what we're looking at today is Duke Nukem 3D for the computer on CD-ROM, as it says right there. As my arm obscures the shot. Alright, this thing was what I picked up for $4 at Cash Converters a couple weeks ago. Um, I never did anything with it because I've been a bit lazy with reviews lately. And, oh, well, people have got to tell me to do more. A lot of people say they really like them, but just tell me to do more. So, looking at this box, it's the full version with lots of extras and on a CD-ROM. Even though the thing only took up a couple of megabytes, defeating the purpose of a CD-ROM. Okay, let's take a look around the box. You may have already seen some of the box in some things I did before, so we'll just make sure we focus that in properly. Apparently we are, might want to lower the ISO, uh, so you can actually read. Okay, so what we got here, the box itself, original US version, can be installed as original US or modified Australian version. That's a mouthful, as I say while well, I can hear trucks in the background. You see, you'd think it'd be quieter shooting at night, but it isn't. Okay, let's, uh, Take a look at what else is said. Let's see, original US version, Office of Film and Literature Classification, MA restricted, 15 years and over, high levels, violence, uh, sexual references, yes. This game has all of those. Okay, apparently, if we zoom in closer, we get a perfect 10. And also, a PC Entertainment Magazine, five stars, and it's made on a CD-ROM. So, we'll just zoom it out ever so much. And of course, refocus the shot, and probably up the ISO, and get to the next part of the review. Okay, we've flipped the box over, and apparently it's fast, fun, and feels more like any other Doom-style game. With worlds of incredible detail and complexity. Yeah, simply the best we've seen. Duke Nukem 3D puts all other 3D games in their place. PC Gamer, testimonial. There's plenty of other testimonials, they were pretty, I mean, mm, most games these days don't even have all this marketing gubbins on them, mainly because people have looked at reviews and just know it's gonna be good. They don't need to read the box. In fact, if they were reading this part of the box, they most likely would have bought it already. So any 28 totally realistic levels, yeah, they're, it's not they're that realistic. In fact, as far as I can remember, they're not that realistic at all. Uh, you, various weapons. Halo Duke, well that sounds, Holo Duke, sorry. Confuse them with a hologram that looks like your enemy. That's a great idea. Alright, stupid British accent. Okay, apparently that's the back, so let's open this bad boy up. Quickly jump cut, here we go. Alright, so we are back to the box. Let's open it up, shall we? Top side um, first, I guess. So here we go. Obviously most of this will be out of focus because I have a very narrow range of focus on my camera. Taking off the velvet slip cover. Putting it to one side more carefully than normal, as I may want to sell this afterwards. Alright, um, well, what's inside the box? Let's take a look. Let me just um, <clears throat> get it out as carefully as I can. Yes, that, that is everything. I'm not sure if everything that was originally in here is actually in here. So, let's go down for a bit of a better look. Let's adjust the tripod for more movement. Okay, what do we got? Uh, let's just bring these in for a bit of more focus. <laughs> Uh, that's probably lower the ISO because that's a bit of a high. So, thank you for purchasing this software. It is in your interest to return this card to us or register online at our internet website www.manic.com.au so we can provide you with any assistance you may need and further information in the future. Future by email. So I didn't have email back in the mid 90s. In fact, I didn't even think they had internet. Um, there we go. Uh, introducing an outstanding range of software. More marketing gubbins. Oh, that fell on the floor. And here we go. What we've all been waiting for. Up the ISO for this. It's not much white. Okay. Let's um, focus it. Thank you very much. Autofocus. Duke Nukem 3D User's Guide. All right, let's flip the page. Lots and lots of good stuff. And obviously the light's extremely obscured because I have them behind me. Uh, you know, table of contents, all the enemies, blah. Anyway, let's bring the disc up for a close look, shall we? Let me get it out of its velvet slip cover and wait for this plane to go past. Here it is, Duke Nukem 3D. Plus bonus games, whether you can read that, I'd assume you can. Um, complete version. Uh, it's Australian, meant for the Australian market, produced by 3D Worms and FG4 Jim 
something, and this is, if I can read correctly on the disc, I think it says 1990, no, it's actually, they're actually, they're actually letters, not numbers, okay, so I'd assume this is 1996, so let's go put it in a machine, not just any machine, this one right next to me, which we'll get out of the bag right now. Hello, and welcome back. After a quick battery change and setting up this old laptop, the Twinhead laptop, that you may have seen in a previous review if you were dumb enough to watch my videos. Okay. Oh, shoot. What's going on here? Um, uh, sure, why not? I don't even know what it said. But I don't read those kind of things. Now let's try and adjust the ISO. I don't really know what to put it at. Uh, I guess that looks pretty good. Let's shutter speed. Um, yeah, different, you're getting a lot of different, okay, so that looks pretty good, um, let me change the f-stop, no, what the, what's not the f-stop, is it, yes it is, 4.0, okay, well, we are pretty much at the best possible level for this, alright, let's check our mouse, which is going off the bloody walls, what the hell is going on, I'll be right back, hello, and welcome back, Thanks for coming out. Okay, here we go. I've got my mouse, which is now working. I don't know what was wrong. I don't think it was a computer, thankfully. And once installing, I won't actually bother installing it for you on this video because it won't be interesting. We also got the original Duke, Duke Nukem 2, Duke Nukem 3D, and Terminal Velocity, which is also a fun game. Hey, and while we're at it, if you'd ever like me to play... What's it? Just wait for it. I've got it in the drive. I didn't even realize. Microsoft Golf, if any of you remember that. Just tell me in the comments, because that's a good old game I haven't played for years and I didn't even realise I had. So anyway, without further ado, Duke 3D. Which I couldn't get both the sound and the music to go at the same time, so I just chose music. Alright, here we go. Alright. Awesome. Oh, jump cut! Sorry for that. Bloody planes. Okay, let's get started. Which will be a bit awkward for me playing, because I've got to reach my arms around the thing. Sorry if that sounded ever so weird. Anyway, uh, new game. Uh, yeah, let's do LA Meltdown. Piece of cake, because I'm terrible at these games. Alright, entering Hollywood Holocaust. Holocaust? Ooh, hey. I think every... Yeah, actually, if you might notice, the texture quality is pretty good. And that is because I'm good with my game fiddling, and I've got this to like nearly 10, uh, not 1080. 10, I've got this, it's running at 720p. Well, theoretically, yes, 720p actually. Um, how do you look down? I don't even know. Okay, let's go get this guy. Bam! Yeah, oh, he's dead. There's no sound effects. Uh, how do you jump? Uh, control? No. What does that do? Swivels around. Uh, shift, space, Z. A? Okay, A jumps. But that's bloody miles away. Um, um, okay, let's take a look around. Uh, well, we're going to need to jump, but jumping's not that easy. So let's think. Uh, a, and we're going to have to click up at the same time. The music is terrible. Um, I don't know. And our health is down to 89. Oh, let's keep going and explore this map. Alright. Oh, what's that guy? He's jumping. Can't seem to aim upwards, so that doesn't seem to really matter in this game. Let's go check this out. So there's a flaming bin that looks quite realistic, I guess. A fire hydrant. Behind. Oh, an exit. A back door. Let's go inside if we can. I guess space would open the door. Yes, it would. Watch out for bad guys. We will. Okay. Space to open the door. Hey, what are you doing over there? Hey, get out, get out of my way, I hate you. Hey, there's another one. Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. Yeah, you're gonna... Oh, you're dead. You already died. Okay, this place is, look, doesn't look very good. Um, which way can we go? Oh, there's only one way to go, isn't there? Uh, this is ever so kind of... Mm, well, I guess for its time, it would technically be pretty good. Anyway, let's go to the arcade. Well, better yet, let's take a look around here. Because the arcade's a bit of a distance. Come on, die, you. My health is up to 100, so I must have done something right. Uh, A to jump. All right, here we go. What do we got here? Ammunition and health. Awesome, let's open this door. What do we get greeted with? Oh, bad guy. Oh, 
So predictable. Shotgun, eh? Sick. This music is incredibly annoying, but I reckon we can look. Oh, where'd you come from? Over here. And it's like some kind of look orb looking thing. Or oh, if you remember Duke Nukem 1, there was such power ups in Duke Nukem 1 as well, I think. It's been a few years since I played that as well. Good classic DOS game, right? Hey, what are you doing up there? This is a toilet room by the looks of it. Oh. Oh, that's totally 3D and not a cardboard cutout. I don't think we can open these doors, but that's probably a good thing. Okay. Uh, let's take it. Oh, shit! Oh, that's me. I really look that bad, do I? Oh, God. Uh, okay. We'll take a look through a bit, a few more doors, and then we'll probably bugger off. Where's this go? Oh, I hate these stairs. It's so weird. Hey, bugger off. Oh, it's like a projection room. Except it is. Hey, come here, you. Die, you bastard. I don't think we can damage this. Whatever it is. It's like a card. I've got an access card. No, we got we got an all-access pass. Um. Yeah, interesting game. Um. Yeah, well, that was interesting. Yeah, so it's a pretty interesting game. Um. Yeah, let's take a look around and then go back. Alright, this music is incredibly irritating because it's mono, kind of, 16-bit trash. Can't remember if I've been here before. Like a big screen or something, okay. We're obviously in a cineplex. Alright, anyway. Well, this game appears to be quite interesting, but I couldn't be bothered going through it. So let's end it there. Alright, let's quit the game and... Yes, we want to quit. So, what did I think of it? I thought it was a fairly decent game, considering it came out in the mid-90s. And yes, I'm not that good at improv when I'm talking about games, because I don't know nothing about most of them. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you want more, just comment below. If you like this video, just like the video. And tell me if you want more, because I can do this in a matter of... In just under an hour, I can make one of these videos. So, thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed, and goodbye.